welcome to another car clinic uh, tire class and what we want to show you is how tires have developed and changed over the years uh, back 30 years ago there was probably a handful of tires maybe a dozen tires 15 tires for cars now some cars have two or three or four different models of tires and what they've done is they've gone uh, taller and wider to give vehicles better handling this is an average tire, and by average tire is one of the mid mid range sizes, and it's a uh, 215, 65, 16, which means the aspect ratio, the width, R is radial, 16 is the uh, rim width, and that's really what they have changed drastically over the last 10, 15 years. Um, this, for example, is the same 65 ratio but as you can see it's a much smaller tire because it's a 185 and it's a 15 inch so this used to be an average size this is about the average size right now you can see it's a lot wider than that tire and then in the old days and i'm talking about 20 years ago this was a tire you can see how narrow it is and we have 205 70 15 15 inch trim. Now, in today's cars, this is what's considered an average tire, and you can see how big it is. 235 55 19, so it's a 19 inch trim. You can almost fit this tire in there. So, why do they do this? They do this so cars can handle better in wet and dry traction. And this, believe it or not, is off an SUV. So instead of changing a lot of the suspensions on the car, what they do is they change the tire size, make them wider, make them bigger, so they handle a little better. You need specialized equipment to work on these larger vehicles. And if you're asking the question, what's the biggest rim size right now available? Well, it's all the way up to 30. And that's for those uh, low riders or those cars that you see bouncing around with the giant tires. In a moment, we're going to show you how low the tires have gotten and th why they have done that on the, on the sports cars. The bigger the rim, the smaller the tire, the better the handling. And we'll show you a picture of that in just a moment. And here we're going to show you uh, what we were talking about earlier about the low profile tires and what they've done. This is the old uh, 70 series tires. You can see that the sidewall on it is pretty big. And then look at the difference here. This is probably about three inches. So what does this do? This gives the car better handling, better traction. This tire, the tread on it is twice as wide as this one. Uh, the downside to something like this is that the tires were out very fast. Some of these tires on some of these sports cars only last 15, 20,000 miles. And in this particular car, you have different sizes on front and rear for handling purposes according to BMW, so you can't even rotate the tires. So that's what a low profile tire looks like. Expect to see this on a lot of cars. You might even own a top of the line Camry and it might have something like this. As always, thank you for watching the video. Subscribe to us and like us on YouTube. Thanks a lot.